Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to review and show you how to use the Autel AL329 code reader. And I got this at Walmart. It's pretty inexpensive. I'm gonna go through each of the features on it and show you how to use it. And I'll show you how it hooks up to my 2006 Toyota Corolla. So OBD stands for Onboard Diagnostics and all cars and light trucks model year 1996 and newer that were sold in the US were required to have this port in the vehicle. So any vehicles that are 1996 and newer, you will most likely have the port on the driver's side underneath the dash. If your car or light truck was sold outside of the US, it's still possible that you have this in your vehicle. Just take a look around to confirm for sure. Okay, let's uh, take a look at the back here. And it just talks about the different features that this code reader has. And let me go ahead and take this out of the package and we'll take a closer look. Okay, so here's everything that was inside the package. We have the quick reference guide here and it has a QR code that you can scan and that will take you to the website so you can download the user's manual and make sure to read through the user's manual before you do use the code reader. It will tell you everything you need to know on how to use the code reader both safely and properly. Then we got like a subscription card here that they included and then the code reader and a USB cable. And the USB cable is to hook the uh, code reader up to your computer to download software updates. Okay, let me show you how the code reader hooks up to my 2006 Toyota Corolla. Okay, so here's where the OBD2 port is on my 2006 Toyota Corolla. It's on the driver's side underneath the dash, and that's what it looks like. And if you notice, it's longer on the top and shorter on the bottom with angled sides. So just make sure that you hook up the code reader the correct way. Okay, let me go ahead and hook up the code reader now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the OBD2 code reader hooked up and you do need to turn your vehicle to the on position. You don't need to start your vehicle up, but you do need it to the on position so your onboard computer can communicate with the OBD2 code reader. We'll go through each of these menus and we'll go into the OBD2 menu last. So the ready test is a good test to run before you go and have your vehicle emissions tested. It will tell you the status of the monitors in your onboard computer. And we'll talk about this more when we go into the OBD2 menu because we can access it from there as well. Uh, the next menu is the setup menu, which has a lot of different things in here. Let's turn off the beep. And we'll just scroll through the rest of this so you can see what's in the setup menu. Okay, and then the about menu, which will tell you the information about this OBD2 code reader, um, like the software version and stuff like that. Okay, so let's go into the OBD2 menu next, and this will take a minute as it communicates with the onboard computer. So I'll be back once it's done. Okay, so we're in the diagnostic menu, and we'll just go through each of these options one by one and talk about them. So before we go into the read codes option, the yellow light turned on, and this is what the user's manual says about the lights. The green light indicates that the engine systems are running normally. The yellow light indicates there is a possible problem, and the red light indicates there is a problem in one or more of the vehicle systems. Um, so now we'll go into read codes, and... On my 2006 Toyota Corolla, there are no trouble codes stored in the onboard computer, but this is where it would show you this information. And this is great information to have, even if you decide not to try to repair the vehicle yourself. Um, you know, you can call around and talk to mechanics about the possible problems, uh, you know, that you're getting this code and then the possible repair prices to fix those issues. So this is good information to have. This is where you can erase the trouble codes if you go into this option and, um, you know, this will turn off your check engine light. I'm not going to just because there was no trouble codes. Um, but even if there was, I wouldn't erase the trouble codes until the problem has been fixed. Because if you do erase the trouble codes, it will turn off the check engine light, but more than likely it will just come back on. So the next option is live data, and this allows viewing of live or real-time PID data of vehicles, and this is a great option to have. 
view freeze frame um, this is another great option so when you and it won't show anything in here because I don't have a trouble code but if uh, you do have a trouble code in your vehicle and your check engine light is on when you go into freeze frame it will tell you a bunch of different information um, that it stored when that trouble code uh, was registered and you can use that information to help you track down what might be going on with your vehicle and why you're getting that trouble code okay so the next option is i am readiness and so this is a great option to run before you go and get your vehicle emissions tested and this is the same option as the ready test on the main menu and what this will show us is the status of the monitors on our onboard computer for our vehicle and like the first line there it says mill off so that's our malfunction indicator lamp another name for the check engine light and then after that are the different monitors on my vehicle. And so they either say OK or incomplete or NA. And um, the reason I have a few of these showing incomplete is because I recently disconnected my battery. And when you disconnect your battery, it also erases all the status of the onboard computers. So, um, you know, that's why these are showing incomplete. And you have to go through some drive cycles before these will change back to OK after they've performed their self-test. And I do have a video that talks about this more in detail, and I'll link that video at the end of this this video and if you have time and you're interested please check it out and you wouldn't want to go into get your vehicle emissions tested while you had those incompletes on there because you would most likely just get turned away okay so vehicle info if we go in here this will give information about your vehicle if your onboard computer is uh, compatible um, with this option so you got the vehicle id number the calibration id the calibration verification number and the in use perform track um, and then let's go back to the previous menu Okay, so the next option is modules present, and they don't talk about this option in the user's manual, but here's the information. And then the next option is set data log, and they don't talk about this option in the user's manual either. So, um, okay, so let's go back to the previous menu here, the main menu, and let me give a final recap and review. Okay, this is a nice OBD2 code reader, and it's easy to use, and it's got a lot of great features. And it's nice to be able to get the trouble code or trouble codes for your vehicle, even if you decide not to try to repair your vehicle yourself, because you can use this information when you call around and talk to mechanics about the possible reasons that you're getting that trouble code and the pricing to repair those types of issues. Also, with the live data and the view freeze frame, this information can sometimes help you track down further why you're getting that specific trouble code and why your check engine light is on. So the ready test is another great feature to have, and to be able to use this before you go in and get your vehicle emissions tested is a great feature to have. Just to make sure that the monitors in your onboard computer are at the OK status and have done their self-testing. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching, please like, subscribe, and comment, and if you have the time, check out these other great videos.